Hey everybody, Sergeant Pope here, and here I'm today telling you guys on how to install a CPU, this FX 8 core CPU that I just bought, to a desktop PC. Uh, it's a little bit different on a laptop, but uh, this will show you guys what to do on a desktop. First off, I guess you gotta find the, uh, the socket. Make sure you're using the right socket. This one's AM3 Plus. It's one of the newest AMD sockets. Intel has completely different sockets, and uh, so be before you even buy a CPU, make sure you get the one with the right socket. Because a lot of the newer AMD ones are AM3 Plus. Hey Goose, I'm making a video. Hey Goose, can we, we, we get the fuck out of here. Goose, there you go. Hey, I love you, but you're getting the fuck in my video. <laughs> So yeah, I guess first off you need to do is they give you a sticker in that little slot right there. Go ahead and slap that shit on your PC. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, so that. Hey, Goose. Yep, yep. Get the fuck out, okay? Um, <laughs> I love him, but he's a bitch. That's what the CPU actually looks like. Can you believe that? That's uh, like $150 right there. D just remember this, this uh, tutorial is for AMD. It it'll kind of help you out with Intel, but... I'm using AMD, so keep that in mind. See that little triangle right there? That goes in the, like, towards the back, the upper left, right there. You can, you can kind of see that corner right there. Yeah, you want that You want that little corner to match up with that corner. And don't push too hard. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't push too hard, because in case you put it in the wrong way, you could fuck up your CPU. And that's a lot of money. Oh, wait. First off, first off, Goose, get the fuck out of the video. Shit. Okay. So be, even before you start putting that CPU in, for this type of socket, there's that little bar right there. Make sure you have that bar open. Because otherwise, the CPU is not going to go in. Okay. So once you got that bar open, then yeah, just match up that little corner right there. Uh, with that corner up there. It should just slide in pretty nicely. So you got in there, slide that arm back down, and that'll lock the CPU in place. So it should be good and everything. And you're done! No. If you leave it that way, your CPU is gonna fry like a fucking egg on the side, on like a sidewalk in Florida or something. It's gonna burn the fuck up. So that's why... Hey Goose, are you getting back in my fucking video? What the hell are you doing? God damn. So yeah, that, that's why AMD gives you a CPU cooler with it. Now, a lot of people don't like the uh, stock CPU coolers, but I've never had a problem with one. So I'm going to keep using this one because, I mean, they gave you one. And it actually says in there that if you don't use the stock cooler that it gives you, then your warranty is voided. So, yeah, use the stock one. They even give you it. So, God fucking damn it. So, uh, this one's kind of cool, actually, uh... Well, like I just took that uh, little plastic shit off of there, but uh, AMD nicely puts uh, the gel on the back of that because uh, you have to have that paste that uh, kind of links it to the CPU. Um, if, uh, if if it doesn't have that, you can go ahead and buy that on Amazon. On Amazon. It's like ten dollars. Uh, once you got the CPU in there, now you can uh, hook on the uh, the CPU cooler, and uh, it has these uh, for for the AM3 on my Gigabyte motherboard. It has these two little short mounts on there. That's what you hook on the uh, CPU cooler to make sure that this little... Uh, there we go. Get that in the shot. That little arm thing is on top because that's where the... That's where it is on the motherboard. So, yeah, I'll just slap it on there. Make sure you get it pretty centered so that the thermal gel links onto the CPU. Okay, so that took a lot of persuasion. Holy fucking shit. AMD really made the AM3 socket tight as fuck. So yeah, after you get that in there, um, I usually just twist up these a little bit at least. Because if you don't, these loose wires are going to fly everywhere and maybe get in a fan or something. I don't know, it's just best to twist this up a little bit at least. Now that I have that coiled up, you just move that on over to, let's see, let's try to get this. There's a CPU fan up there on my motherboard. It's a different spot on different motherboards, but uh, 
it should say CPU fan on it. And uh, just go ahead and plug that in. Okay, well, that was a little bit more work than I thought it was going to be, but I uh, finally got that thing in there. Oh man. Yep, AMD really made that one a little bit more difficult than the uh, uh, just regular AM3 socket. So, hope that helped you guys out a little bit. Not too hard to install CPU. Um, just slap in that CPU, slap on the heatsink fan, and plug that shit in. Just about it. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, and it maybe helped out a little bit, then go ahead and like the video if you'd like. Uh, you don't have to, but it does help me out. And uh, if you guys need help on installing other components of your PC, like uh, RAM, uh, solid state drive, uh, power supply, I'm, I'm working on a power supply one, I haven't done it yet, but, uh, I'll do that eventually. So, yep, thanks for watching this video, guys, and see you later. Bye! Uh, and once you do that, and, and I keep knocking over the fucking camera.